Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16's beta 3 update on my iPhone XR. As you can see, this is an iPhone XR and yesterday night I have received iOS 16 beta 3 update. So this update, as you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 1.34 gigabyte on my iPhone XR. So there are new changes and new features of course included with iOS 16 beta 3. So make sure you watch this video till the end if you are using an ios 16 beta software or planning to update to ios 16 so with that being said let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel and also it gives me a lot of motivation if you do consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. As you can see, the first change is uh, it shows iOS 16 and if I tap the way it used to show the build number, it has changed. So earlier with iOS 16 beta 2, it was just like, you know, a pop up that's coming up from bottom. But now that has changed. If I tap on it, it's just a screen that you get to see a different screen. So let's concentrate about the build number. So the new build number is 208 a 5312g so it says that this update includes improvements and bug fixes on your iphone so probably in future we'll get to see the more details about the update here but as of now this is just a strip of line which says the ios 16 and the new build number unfortunately with iphone 10r we did not have a new modem firmware update i have checked other youtube videos probably with iphone 13 or iphone 12 you might have a new modem firmware update but as of now with iphone 10R, uh, you know, whatever the modem firmware was there with iOS 16 beta 2, the same is present with iOS 16 beta 3. So, no new modem firmware update for iPhone 10R. So, now let's talk about what's new. So, the first change is if you go to the general and you know, if you tap on the software update, so and click on this automatic updates, as you can see, there is a new option which says install security responses and system files. So, it was there but the wording has been changed and it says rapid security responses and system files for iphone and supported accessories will be installed so even if you don't manually install the update if you turn this option on it will automatically install the i know important security and response files so that is the new thing with ios 16 beta 3 apart from that the first thing i would like to talk about is the lock screen so you know the lock screen has has been a hype with iOS 16 there are a lot of customization options and it looks like that with every incremental beta we get a new feature so there's a new animation that I was able to notice with iOS 16 beta 3 lock screen so let's have a look at that as you can see if I tap on this customize option from the lock screen and if I click on customize and if I click on done and if I click on this customize home screen option, you will see a new animation. So as you can see, this this the earlier window fades out to the left of the screen. So that was something new. And of course, we have this legibility blur option. So that was something new I wasn't expecting and that, you know, was there with iOS 16 beta 3. Now, the new thing is that if I click on the settings and then if I click on the privacy and security and scroll at the bottom, you see there's a new option which says lockdown mode. So if I click on that, it explains what lockdown mode is. You can actually go through the, you know, screen. It will explain you what lockdown mode is basically if you feel that you are threatened by some cyber security attack or you know someone is probably some website or some organization is tracking your iphone you can you know enable this lockdown mode for that you need to click on that turn on lockdown mode it shows you clearly that it will have a clear restriction on your message facetime web browsing shared albums device connections and apple services and profiles so many features which normally you know uses many of these uh, options will not work and your phone will be on lockdown mode so if you click on turn on lockdown mode and click on turn on and restart so your phone will be in lockdown mode so many features 
will not be available once your phone is in lockdown mode but this is a nice addition to have if you feel that your phone iphone is under attack or if you feel threatened by some cyber attack or something like that so that's the new thing that we have with lockdown mode now one more thing i was able to notice with wallpaper section so as you can see if i click on this wallpaper you are clearly able to see this new animation and the new strip of line which says change your wallpaper from lock screen so earlier it was not there and it's very nice to see this cool animation within a static page and also there was one more new wallpaper uh, fortunately i was able to notice so within my iphone 10r if i just scroll down and if I click on uh, this collection options, so as you can see this clownfish wallpaper was something that was not there previously, but you know, I was able to identify it with the iOS 16 beta 3, this clownfish wallpaper has been added to the collection. So let me know if you have already updated to iOS 16 beta 3 and do you have this iOS 16 clownfish wallpaper i'm not sure whether it was an old wallpaper but that is something new that i did not notice in the previous betas of ios 16. now apart from that there are changes in the health application now if i talk about the health application and go to this heart option within this heart option you have a new option called af history so what af history is it gives you many articles about rtl uh, fibrillation burden and things like that you can go about that and apart from all that option that we had you can track your AF history as well so with iOS 16 beta 2 this AF history option was not there but with beta 3 you have multiple articles which talks about which clearly you know uh, explains what RTL fibrillation is and what you could do about it and uh, everybody does not have it but if you have what you can do about it and things like that and also you can actually connect with other apps which also have AF history tracking now apart from that in the settings in the reminders option if I could just find reminders let me find reminders and as you can see there's a new option which says include du today so this option was not there with ios 16 beta 2 so whatever reminders if you have set for today it if you turn that on it will also give you a notification and alert that you have a notification due for today so this option was previously not there and i'm glad that they have added it here one more thing that i was able to notice within the settings photos application so if i click on photos there was this icloud shared option that i was able to notice so let me just click on photos and if i click on photos as you can see uh, a shared library option has come up new so this it says that setup if i click on that it gives you a description what icloud shared photo library is it says create shared library to combine photos and videos with the people closest to you so if i want my library to be shared with others near and dear ones i can do that of course in that case my icloud or the iphone storage has to be a, a lot more so probably i could have a paid icloud account probably 75 gb 200 gb and then i could actually share my photos and videos with the close uh, near and dear one so now uh, you can do that with ios 16 beta 3 it was not there with beta 2 now it was there now talking about the performance performance is good now i have noticed something that few application don't work properly with ios 16 beta 2 there's this application called Splitwise. I was not able to uh, get it to work. I installed that application uh, multiple times, but it always crashes. And also I noticed, you know, a uh, few uh, frequent crashes with financial applications like banking applications. Now talking about the performance, performance is in general smooth, but I ran the Geekbench 5 just to check the benchmarking scores. So the single core came out to be 758 and the multi-core score came out to be 2000. 2007, which is pretty low but i just ran it after you know few hours when i uh, got the update so probably that's why uh, there's a lot of background tasks that was processing in the background so maybe that's why the scores are a little low but the scores are not exactly up to the mark with ios 16 beta 3 so that's all about this video with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that we have received a new update of ios 16 beta 3 and if you have installed ios 16 
uh, developers beta profile then only you'll be able to have this update let me know in the comment section whether you have already updated to ios 16 and whether you are excited about ios 16 beta 3 new features that i have talked about in this video but then again i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you on my next video bye bye